Hey guys, here are 5 useful tips for using Gizmo 3D in ZBrush. Tip number 1. Can you see these boxes? They are scale axis. If you press and hold control on any of these and drag it in, you can squash the geometry. Very useful if you are into a blockout stage. Tip number 2. You can duplicate the mesh multiple times instantly by this hidden feature. So basically you hold control and drag the mesh and it will duplicate it. But at the same time, let go of the control on your keyboard but not the pen on your tablet and just move the cursor by using these arrows and it will duplicate the mesh infinitely using the same distance it covered the first time. It records the distance of the first instance of duplication and then applies to other instances. Pretty useful if you are creating a pattern or any design. Tip number 3. If you are into using masking a lot, you will absolutely love this feature. So with Gizmo 3D open, you can hold control and drag the cursor on any of the direction and it will mask the area which is behind the direction, resulting in almost accurate calculation of how you want that part to be masked. It is really fast compared to manual masking most of the time. It is mostly accurate and always helps if you are posing your character. Tip number 4. Close simulation using the Gizmo 3D. This feature in ZBrush has been here for over 2 years now. Either it has been neglected by many users or they don't know much about it. To use it, just go to the brushes and select the transpose clone and mask out the area. It will act as a pivot point for the simulation and just use the arrows to move the mesh using the gizmo and it will simulate the cloth for you. You can scale, rotate and move and it will simulate accordingly. Tip number 5. You probably know how to scale in ZBrush using the Gizmo 3D but if you press and hold control and scale it using the middle scale icon, it will scale using the normals of the mesh like it is filling an air in the balloon. It will also deflate if you go down the negative value. Also, if you press and hold R or any of the scale axes, it will exclude the selected scale and will scale using the remaining two axes. Additional tips Some additional tips I wanted to share is Gizmo 3D comes with its own pair of primitives which are pretty useful. To use it, just click on this gear icon while any of the mesh is selected and you would see this bunch of primitives. Just click on any of these and it will replace the current subtool with these primitives. The good thing about this primitive is that I love the topology. You can also modify the topology and each type of primitive has its own set of modifications. And this is it guys, these features which I mentioned are there from the beginning for sure but I haven't seen people using it much and that is why I decided to share them with you. I hope you like this video, please do subscribe and share this video, comment what you want me to cover regarding sculpting or 3D next time, until then take care, I will see you on the next one.